B cell activation. When antigens enter tissues, B cells are called into the infected region. There the B cell interacts with the antigen. B cells specific for the antigen will use their B cell receptor, the BCR, to bind to the antigen. Once bound to the antigen, the B cell internalizes the BCR with antigen and enzymes within the B cell degrade the antigen down. The B cell then loads the piece of antigen onto an MHC class II molecule for presentation. Now the B cell is ready for full activation. This requires the help of a helper T cell. The helper T will bind to the B cell if it recognizes both the MHC and piece of antigen. As you see here, the T cell uses its CD4 marker to recognize the MHC on the B cell. The T cell uses its TCR, the antigen receptor, to recognize the piece of antigen being presented. Once the T cell binds to the B cell, it releases interleukin, which will activate the B cell to proliferate. The B cell will then produce memory cells and plasma cells. Memory cells go to the secondary lymphoid tissue for future infections. The plasma cells will actively secrete antibodies. These antibodies are used to help clear the pathogen. Antibodies do this by binding to the antigen and tagging it for opsonization by phagocytes or neutralizing it from binding to target tissues. In some cases, it will cause the antigen to agglutinate. And finally, some antibodies will activate the classical path of complement.